two really key skills you need at university are the ability to summarize and to paraphrase. These two core skills enable you to do excellent synthesizing to create high quality complex writing. There's a whole video on synthesizing, but let's look at these two other skills first. Firstly, summarizing. A summary is a shortened version of the original text written in your own words. It should contain the main points of the original text, but in a condensed version. A summary should start with a clear opening about the type of writing, the author, and the main point of the article you've read. And this should be written in the present tense. You should not put any of your own ideas or opinions or interpretations into the summary. In a summary, we really only care about what the text says. When summarizing, you should keep any specialist vocabulary, but you should change the structure of the text to make it your own. For example, you can change adjectives to adverbs or nouns to verbs. You can make longer sentences shorter and shorter sentences longer. And then you can use conjunctions and adverbs to join ideas together and combine different paragraphs to make a continuous piece of writing. To do a good summary, you need to make sure that you really understand the original text. This also includes considering your purpose for using this text. Is it for supporting or refuting an argument, for example? And don't forget, a summary, like any other text, must cite the original author. Paraphrasing. Sometimes you may want to be a little more true to the text you've read, but you don't want to use a quote. To do this, we can use paraphrasing. You should limit your use of paraphrasing to short bits of text, too much of it, and your work won't look enough like your own, but it can still be very useful. When paraphrasing, you still need to change the words and structure of the original, but this time you keep the meaning much closer to the text you read. Paraphrasing is really useful for helping you to clarify or restate an idea, and it's essential for good academic writing. But be warned, unsuccessful paraphrasing can end up looking like plagiarism, even if you didn't do that on purpose. When paraphrasing, there's a few things you need to remember. You do need to rewrite the work in your own words completely. Don't just swap words or the order of sentences, although do keep that specialist vocabulary. You must put a full citation for the work or works that you've taken the ideas from. And if you use anything verbatim, that is, using a piece of text in the exactly the same way as the author, then include this in quotation marks and add the page number of where the quote came from along with your citation. Summarizing and paraphrasing are useful tools to help you show your understanding of text and ideas. But to really make your work shine, you should take this to the next level by synthesizing different texts together.